and women across the world are subjected to physical, sexual, psychological and economic violence regardless of their income, age or education. Such violence can lead to long-term physical, mental and emotional health problems. Around one-third of women worldwide have experienced physical and or sexual violence by an intimate partner or sexual violence by a non-partner at some point in their lives. Details in this report. Gender-based violence happens in secret, behind closed doors, often in women's ho own homes. According to a 2020 study, about 44% of African women experience gender-based violence. At least 200 million women and girls aged 14 to 49 years have undergone female genital mutilation in 31 countries where the practice is concentrated. Half of these countries are in West Africa. The Spotlight Initiative is a global partnership between the United Nations, the European Union and the African Union to end violence against women and girls, specifically female genital mutilation, child marriage and other harmful practices. The annual review and learning workshop brought together government officials, civil society representatives and development partners from across Africa to discuss and identify new ways to accelerate progress. Africa has some challenges which has paced the eradication of gender-based violence. A number of challenges in Africa and one of that given the fact that uh, Africa is highly a patriarchal uh, community now where most of the communities with high levels of patriarchy we've experienced high levels of gender-based violence. We are optimistic that the trend is changing uh, from the past experiences, but we still need a lot of work to do. Of course, gender-based violence is wide. It's not just the physical, it's the emotional, it's the, it's the psychological. So those are some of the reasons. And also, we also have our religious, also, uh, religious systems that have also not been very favorable uh, in terms of uh, bringing about uh, gender equality. Raising the awareness on violence against women requires using all systems available to effectively educate young and old. In our system, for example, in the cultural system, we utilize all platforms and address issues of domestic violence. We use festivals, we used events that we all create ourselves. We use training programs. Recently, we even started using school visits. And you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't believe it, but in Ghana, for example, now, even traditional leadership go out of their ways, leave their palaces, and travel to schools within their communities to engage with the younger ones. The power and purpose of civil groups cannot be underestimated in achieving this goal. We cannot say the, issue, the, the success of Spotlight without mentioning the civil society. The government couldn't do it. There are some policies that we need to push, but government cannot go in to fight with government. We need the civil society. The workshop provided participants with insight and strategies that will enable the design of more effective interventions against gender-based violence and harmful practices in Africa. For me, Jeffrey, for Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.